So I'm Sister Aristea Bautista, Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. And uh, I am already 66 years old in my senior years, but very happy for the gift of God, for a calling to the congregation, and a special calling to the ministry with the indigenous peoples. I have worked with the indigenous peoples for the past 28 years. First two years with the Aitas in Sambales, one year with the Subanens in, uh, in uh, Pagadian, and the uh, longest period is 25 years with the Mangyans in Occidental Mindoro. In all the sophistication of this life, I felt the strong attraction for that which is simple and pristine, for that which is really in communion with the Creator. And God found His way to bring me to this congregation. To any mission to which our co we are called, I believe it is God's way of shaping us into what He has uh, destined us to be. I didn't know later on I will go into IP ministry. In the world where I come from, I come from the city, we had no province. I never knew they really existed at all. The encounter with the indigenous peoples were also a way by which God strengthened my calling as a Franciscan missionary of Mary. In them, I learned what it truly really means to be a Franciscan. It is not in the books and it is not in the sessions, but in the encounter and dialogue of life with them. I learned also the depth of my faith because in the initial encounters with the IPs, they were asking me, Sister, why did you choose to live with us? We know you are not used to the mountain. We find you having difficulty climbing up and coping with the rigors of the life there. Maybe the place where you came from, you will not eat the food that we eat and you will not live in a hut where we live. And God gave me the words to answer them. The same words that I have spoken spoke to me. I just had find myself saying, you know, the God to whom I, I have chosen to give myself, He did the same for us. He became one like us. He lived among us. He journeyed with us in life. And maybe that is the basic inspiration of the FMM's journeying among you. In the deep encounter with them, we experience how sharing had no limits. The encounter with the IPs is a very rich exchange. It is not only they learning from us, but we learning from them. It is not only we bringing God across but to them, but we encountering God in them. It is not only we bringing uh, knowledge to them, but they bringing us the wisdom of life which we have forgotten. And it's a very enriching and meaningful experience in life over and over again. I say thanks to God for the privilege and the blessing to live among them. Magandang araw po sa atin lahat. Uh, ako po si Lito Hugatan o Tubag Hugatan ay isang katutubong ayta. Ako po ngayon ang Pangulo ng aming samahan, Lakas. Lubos na aliansa ng mga katutubong ayta ng Sambalis. Ang masasabi ko sa pagkikilakbay sa amin ng taong simbahan mula nung nasa pinatubo kami, sila, sila yung nagbago ng aming mga pananaw. Bakit nagbago ang aming pananaw? Uh, mula doon sa mga magulang namin o mga kamag-anak na nagbibinta ng kanilang mga kalakal na kung saan ay 
nabarat o niloloko sila, pinapalitan ng mga tatil, asukal, asin, ang mga kalagal ay nabago dahil sa pumamagitan ng pagtuturo nila ng literasi. Dahil doon sa pagtuturo ng literasi ay hindi lang ito yung pagbasa, pagsulat at magbilang kung, hindi, kung paano manindigan at kilala ang sarili kung paano ipaglaban ang upay minuno. Magandang araw po. Ako po si Carol Doyanan Saribay. Naging guru po ng katutubong paaralan Habaytan uh, sa Burgos. Kasama po ng mga FMM na naroon sila Sister Hedy, Sister I, Sister Janet, sila Sister Shoni at Sister Minchit. Isa po ako sa mga uybon-uybon na hinubog at uh, pinanday ng mga FMM sisters noon na sila Indo Mingay, sila Indo Vicky pa po noon dito. So, nung uh, nasara po yung paaralan doon, uh, sa tulong pa rin po nila Father Mark, ng aming mga leader at ng mga FMM sisters, ay in-push po namin na magkaroon ng paaralan dito po sa loob ng aming pamayanan. So, sa ngayon po, ay meron na po kaming mga 200 plus na estudyante mula grade 7 hanggang grade 12. Okay. Maratang umaga po sa ating lahat ng katuwang na FMM. Ako po si Helen Abara. Uh, Napunta po ako sa mga FMM. Dalaga pa ako noong 1983. At nagsimula akong maglingkod sa ating mga kapatid na katutubo kasama ang mga kayo uh, ng mga FMM sisters. Uh, isa po sa naging malaking bagay na nagawa ako mismo sa personal ko ay ang pag-develop ko na totally develop na na aking pagkatao mula doon sa paniniwala sa paglilingkod ng lalo na sa ating mga kapatutubo so dahil po sa mga tulong nila uh, sa pag-develop sa akin pagpapadala kung saan-saan uh, para maunawaan ang kalagayan ng mga katutubo at isa po yung malaking bagay yun na nagawa nila sa akin Uh, ang tunay na paglilingkod na walang hinihinging kapalit 